Hello guys. Good morning, good morning. At least it's morning here. Um, I'm going to do this real quick like because I want to make this and bake this while I'm uh, recording it all. And I will chat with you shortly after I make this because my camera does not go past 30 minutes of recording and I haven't learned to edit yet guys. So anyway, let's get to this real fast. These are delicious flourless cookies. Um, no flour, no nut flours, no any kind of flours. It's This is the ingredients right here. You can see. Here's egg whites, room temperature. Um, there's two egg whites. There's a half cup of semi-chocolate chips, a teaspoon of vanilla, one and a half cups of powdered sugar, and one third cup of cocoa powder, and a, a pinch of salt. Okay? So, uh, the first thing we do is we whisk together, let's see here, the powdered sugar, the cocoa powder, and the pinch of salt. So we'll just whisk that together real quick to get it all incorporated together. Get those little guys all mixed up together. Yeah because we want everything evenly distributed there. I like to tilt the bowl because a lot of times when you're whisking, you don't notice that at the bottom there's a you know a, an area of something that hasn't been mixed in. So I like to tilt the bowl and get it all in there. Okay. So, all right. That looks pretty good. That's pretty pretty um, mixed up in there. Such simple ingredients and guys these cookies are amazing. They're fudgy and chewy. Oh they're just delicious. Okay. That's good. That's mixed really really well. Okay. Now we add the vanilla extract. One whole teaspoon. Oh it's got that. Okay now the egg whites. Okay, now we stir it around. Doesn't seem like that would be enough liquid, but believe it or not, it is. And you'll see. Whoops. You'll see. Okay, let's get that out of there. I'd rather just use a big spoon so it doesn't get caught in the whisk. As we all know it can. There, get all that out of there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I love you all. I want you all in there. That's good. Okay, so I'm stirring it around. As you can see, I'm going to get it all in there. Go around the edges, get any dried ingredients all mixed up in there. Okay, there we go. Look at that, nice and glossy chocolate. Oh, yum, 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 yum. See that? Okay, get that mixed really good. Now, this batter has to be thick but very moist. So if it looks, for any reason it's too thick, you can add another egg white, which must be at room temperature. I'll put the recipe below. Okay, now I will add the, um, the chocolate chips. <laughs> Help me, my brain. I'm waking up still. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. Okay, there's the chocolate chips. So we just mix those in, as you can see. Just mix them in there. Can't ask for a simpler recipe, guys. These are amazing. Oh my gosh. The first time I made them, I thought, mm, I don't know. Because I love anything that's flourless, even nut flowers, because I don't like grains and um, I'm not real fond of using almonds stuff because it's such a high oxalate, even though chocolate is too. But this is a treat. And I just love the fact that the ingredients are so simple. Okay, got that all mixed in there. See that, guys? 
Mm, let's see. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, chocolate. Okay. I'm going to take y'all over here. Hold on. Oops. Okay. And here is a cookie sheet with parchment. Oh, how I love parchment. Now, what I will do is drop a little like this. I think you can see that. Yeah. And, and put them far enough apart because they do spread a little bit. So I'm putting like, mm, I don't know, I'd say a tablespoonful, maybe a little bit more in each one. About a tablespoon, I'd say. A hefty tablespoon, let's put it that way. There we go, look at that. Ooh, chocolatey, chocolatey, chocolatey. Mmm. -hmm. All those nice chocolate chips in there. Yum. Okay, let's get this one. One, two. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, I am such a chocoholic. I could live on chocolate every freaking day of my freaking life. <laughs> I mean, I could have chocolate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with no problem. So here we go. Hopefully I'm not putting too much there. Looks about what I did the, when I made it last time. Because they do spread out a bit, so. Make them kind of even there. Okay, let me get this one over here. Yum. Look at that, guys. Mmm. Nothing like shiny chocolate, you know? I don't know what it is about shiny chocolate that just, oh, yum, 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 yum. Okay. Okay, let's get that. Okay. I actually have enough for maybe like another one. So I might go ahead and just see that, guys. Now, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and stick it on there. If it runs into another one, who cares? I don't. Uh, how about over here? Oops. <laughs> there we go. This is just to give you an idea. There we go. Nice little strip there. Okay. Now, guys, I am going to go stick this. Look at that. How pretty in the oven. And time it for, uh, it says 12 to 14, but I'm, I, I'm always on the safe side, so I'm going to do 12. Well, I'm going to do 13. How's that? 13. Okay, guys, I'm going to take you all over here now. <laughs> <laughs> da 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 view oh there's my pumpkins isn't that cute my grandson Skylar and Logan brought that to me uh, for our fall dinner that we had last Saturday isn't it, darling and then I got that one ready for fall ah there's Capone my little lazy bum on his little luxury bed and there's Kitty on her blankie that I had to put there because we've had rain. And I certainly don't want her little muddy paws getting all over. So I'm going to try to fix this here, guys. I don't know if I'll be able to. There we go. <laughs> well, that's a lovely pose, Kitty. Oh, so feminine and so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have some space there? Let me move this foot stool. Do you think you could like come over here maybe? Come over here. Come over here, Munch Candy. Come over here. So Mama can see it. Yeah. Keep your little muddy paws over there. Ugh. Let's see. I think I got it. Yeah, pretty much. There we go. 
Ugh, adjusting these cameras is so much fun. Okay, that's going to have to do for now. Okay. Anyway, guys. Whew. I wanted to show you, oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I wanted to show you this recipe because, um, uh, first of all, it's just so simple. And the fact that it needs no flowers of any kind is just the greatest thing in the world to me. I just am thrilled with that. I look, I've been starting to look for a lot of recipes that don't require any kind of flour. Flourless cakes, that type of thing. But this one, guys, it's almost like, um, like a macaroon. It's really uh, crispy, kind of crunchy on the outside. And then when you bite into it, it's fudgy, chewy. Oh my God. I mean, it's soft. It's so good. Um, you have to watch it because I could eat those all day long. So this is going to be some of my treats since I'm, um, you know, watching what I eat. By the way, I've lost 10 pounds. I'll have to show you on the scale, guys. Uh, but I lost 10 pounds by eating mainly meat, so I'm very happy with that. And uh, I, like I said, I will never be one of those people who never eat sweets, who never eat sugar, who never have a Coke, who never, or Dr. Pepper, I hate Cokes, um, who never have any yummies. I'm, I'm never going to live that life. So I find things that agree with my system. And um, uh, since almonds are very high in uh, oxalates, well, chocolate has oxalates too, but... Um, I prefer to have something this yummy without adding extra oxalates, which is in the almond flour. So, just the chocolate has the oxalates. <laughs> That's okay. But, um, yeah, guys, it's, it's so good. And the, the recipe states it can stay for two to three days. I, I kept them, uh, you know, for a whole week. Uh, there was, they were perfectly fine. I don't know why they say that two, three days thing, because lots of foods that are like made like that, like cookies or breads, they can last forever, especially if you refrigerate them. They can just last and last. So um, I wanted to make these, actually show you making them, and then pulling them out of the oven so you can see how cool they look. They have a very shiny surface, really shiny, shiny surface, which is so cool. And, um, and then, like I said, the inside is nice and fudgy chewy. So... Yeah, guys, I, I'm constantly looking for recipes that don't require, require flour or, at the minimum, yeah, an almond flour or a rice flour. Now, I, I'm good getting back to the rice flour because rice is lower in uh, oxalates than almonds. So I'm going to start looking more for, uh, for more rice recipes. I, in fact, I do have several, but I had gotten away from the rice flour thinking, oh, almond flour, till I found out how high in oxalates uh almond flour is or almonds in general are so yeah there's lots of recipes online for uh, rice flour to make to to substitute uh, for regular flours grain flours and they come out delicious I when I was using the rice flour I made the most delicious chocolate chip cookies I mean and I made a cake delicious cake just with rice flour instead of grain flours and almond flour so I'm going to go back to that. So you, you guys know what I mean when it comes to trying to find things that agree with you, your system, and might be, I don't know if I want to say a little healthier, <laughs> but you know, let's, let's face it, that's all sugar and chocolate. I don't care. It's going to be a treat and I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to chat with you a little bit while they're cooking. Um, it's been a, a really nice uh, morning so far. It's getting that point, of, you know, that time of year when during the day it's still hot enough to have a cooler going, but then at night it dips so low that in the morning I've been putting on a little, um, I had I already these really cool space heaters from um, Amazon. And so I run those for a few minutes in the morning just to, because this is a very small house and it heats it up pretty quickly. Um, to take away that morning chill but then by afternoon I've got the cooler going and I'm like oh god in fact this morning I was wearing my heavy robe my slippers because it was like 50 degrees 49 degrees around there it was pretty cold and but I think this Thursday I'm going to go ahead and get that heater turned on because after Wednesday our temperatures are going to just start dropping so yeah I don't like to be cold but I don't like to be too hot yeah 
whatever. So anyway, <laughs> how are you guys doing? Um, I hope you try this recipe and I would love it if you would comment. If you do make them, I would love it if you would comment below and tell me what you think of them. Um, I was very hesitant at first because I thought this doesn't look you know like a really good cookie dough because it was so liquidy and man was I shocked when they they came out the way they did and uh, even my daughter she liked them she came over and she said "Ooh, they're, they're like a macaroon and that's when it clicked they are kind of like a macaroon um, so they're really really good anything chocolate guys I am just I am so severely addicted to chocolate. I could I don't know what it is about chocolate. And I don't understand people who don't like chocolate. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Chocolate is the best in the world. It's just it's heaven. I mean, what isn't good about chocolate? It's rich, it's creamy, it's oh, it's just so delicious. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I just I adore it. But um yeah, so so guys, just, you know, find stuff that works for your system, your digestive system, what have you, and, and search online for all kinds of stuff that you can, you know, oh my gosh, you can use alternates for everything. There's, there's nothing you really can't use an alternate for. Um, me personally, like, I don't like coconut, can't stand anything coconut, so I won't use coconut flour. Cannot stand the smell or taste of coconut, except in an Almond Joy and a Mounds. Isn't that weird? I I don't know what that is, but I love it in that, but other than that, no, I, I can't, ooh, coconut water, coconut flour, coconut oil, ooh, none of that. I can't, ooh, can't handle it. So I'm always looking for alternatives uh, for something that I personally love. Um, you know, it's it's just a matter of everybody's personal taste. you got to find what works for you. And... Uh, any recipe that you find online, if there's something in it you don't like, check to see, you know, all you got to do is, is to put in your search is, you know, alternative or a substitute for coconut flour, substitute for whatever, and you get a list of things for everything. I mean, there's just not much you can't substitute anymore, thankfully. I'm so thankful for that <clears throat> because I can't eat wheat can eat grains they you know I can eat them very minimally or they do cause me digestive problems that's just the way I, the way I am can't help it it's who I am so um, get online guys uh, look for any recipes you want and then look up for substitute if there's any ingredient and always read the bottom of the recipe the very end because a lot of times they will tell you you can leave out whatever or it'll say next to one of those things optional but even if it doesn't say optional, if you look at the bottom, sometimes they will say, uh, you know, you don't need to add this or you can leave out this. So always check the whole recipe because you never know what's written in there, what they write. Some of them are long, you know how they write all kinds of stuff in there. And some of them just get right to it. The recipe and then at the bottom they'll say something. So try doing that because um, you'll be surprised how many things you can leave out. Uh, especially if you don't like it, <laughs> like me, I, oh, coconut, yuck. Um, when it comes to sweets, I just, ugh, chocolate, chocolate is the way. And by the way, for those of you that always, if you wonder why people add salt to sweets, especially like this when you add a little salt, it's because salt intensifies flavor. Uh, it brings out the richness of something. Whatever you're adding it to, it brings out that richness, the flavor of it more. And when it comes to sweets, it brings out the sweetness. Um, even more so. It, it, it's just this weird balance between salt and sugar. And I have tried recipes where I didn't add the salt and I noticed the difference. I, I really did. That salt just adds a little bit of balance too. So um, for those of you that wonder why are you putting salt in something sweet, it enhances flavor and it balances that sweet out a little bit too. It intens it, it's weird. It intensifies it but yet balances it kind of weird. So um, uh, that's why you add salt to a lot of sweet things. Just like a, a Starbucks has this amazing, it's called a, a salted caramel uh, drink. It's, it's chocolate with caramel and they sprinkle salt or they put salt in it. I could drink that 
all day, every day. Oh my gosh, it is so good. If you've never had their salted caramel drink, oh, it's delicious, guys. Especially on these cold mornings or with winter coming up and we get to go get all those yummy hot drinks. Mmm, yeah. And cider. Oh, apple cider. God, how I love apple cider with a cinnamon stick in it. That is the best feeling in the world to hold a nice cup of hot apple cider and it has the cinnamon stick in there and you just stir it around and it gives that delicious cinnamony flavor to the apple cider. Oh my gosh, guys. So good. So, 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 so good. I I started liking that years and years and years ago. Winter is coming, guys. It's time to get snuggled in, buckle down, you know, get uh, get all your blankets and your... Uh, your, your warm stuff out to make your house feel cozy, fuzzy blankets, fuzzy pillows, or um, just anything to make your f home feel cozy. I'm going to be bringing my blankets out now shortly, probably at the end of next week. I'm going to bring them out because um, I love that feeling of looking over and seeing my fuzzy blankets and my, um, my pillows that just, they're comforting. You know, I love pillows like this brown velvet one. I love it. Got it at Goodwill for a buck. A buck came home and washed it in Lysol, you know, the fabric the fabric Lysol you can get to disinfect. I wash everything I buy at these stores, like thrift store and Goodwill. I wash it in that stuff. And I have this lovely little pillow. Oh, they're ready. Let's go check them out, guys. Okay. All right. Oh, baby. Got to go check this out real quick, like. Okay, I'm going to set you guys down back down here. And I will get you right there, hopefully. Okay. Let me get those out. I hear ya. I hear ya. There they are, guys. Check them out. Look at that. Oops, that one got stuck. Look at that, guys. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> they are nice and chocolatey. Let me get this up to you so you can see it. Look how beautiful those are. Yep, there you go. Okay guys, my camera's getting ready to die. Just wanted to show you that. I thought I had had it charged better, but maybe not. So anyway, look how beautiful guys. Let them completely, totally cool. I take them off and I put them on a wire rack to cool with the paper here. It's easy to just lift them up. But there you go. Check them out, guys. All right. Let me get this camera out of here and show you. Ooh, yummy. Look at that. Don't those look delicious? I love how they get this crackly, shiny, crunchy thing. And then inside, it's just gooey. Yum, guys. Talk to you later. Hope you enjoy these.